Hey, how's it going? My name's Sean, and uh, we install solar on RVs with, uh, we're just a band of misfits getting it done. That's Levi, my son up there. He's doing solar right now, and we're working on a Brinkley uh, travel trailer. Haven't had the privilege to work on one of these just yet. Uh, we're going to be putting on a full uh, 1,500 watts of solar, uh, Victron MultiPlus, Epic batteries, and everything to make it work. Serbo GX display. It's going to be a lot of fun. Stick around. All right, so here is how we start. First, we kind of investigate and figure out where can we put things. And in this particular Brinkley, we're going to be putting some batteries right here. We pulled this panel off to see if we could uh, get access to some other utility wire running spaces. And it turns out we're not going to be able to do too much there. The old inverter, which was a uh, Renogy, I believe, went right here. And some, some models of Brinkley use a rich solar one. It's pretty much the same looking thing. I think they're white labeled. We're going to put most of the equipment right up here to try and preserve as much of the storage space as possible. We're big into that. And uh, also, We've got this guy helping us out here. JD, <laughs> on loan from Arizona. Just uh, for a few more weeks. Yep, be thinking about that. If you want work done in Arizona, this is the guy who's gonna do it until he can convince me to come down there. Oh, it's beautiful in the winter. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, he's been, uh, well, lo both lying down on the job and working hard. Yeah, taking a nap. People say it's not possible, but. <laughs> now let's take a quick look inside here, what we got going on. Not a ton other than the uh, monitoring install location. Our plan is we're going to try and put it here. There used to be some stickers here, but we moved those up there. So we're going to hope to put the screen right here. Now to do that, we're going to have to go down through the wall and out through the floor and uh, put the HDMI cable in a... Uh, like some kind of conduit or wire wrap to protect it, but it should be able to make it all the way to that bay without much of a problem. And then let's take a look on top here. We got Levi, who uh, appears to be two Red Bulls deep already. Three. Three. You gotta pace yourself, bud. I am. <laughs> so here's what he's got going for the solar up here. Like it, like it, it's doing really well. And uh, one of the things we like to do is Make sure that when you get up on your ladder, you got a place to land. Uh, you can still get around here, work on your air conditioners, work on that one. Uh, we're big on that. So right now it looks like he's uh, wiring things up, but we're not gonna connect to the main port yet. And the main port is gonna remain accessible, it looks like up there. Yep. So we will inspect his work when he's done. And uh, oh, the other thing that people wanna know a lot is how do we wire these panels up? And what Levi, what, what did you come up with? Uh, these two and then those. Okay, we put them in series. And that way that gets the voltage up to about 85, 90 volts. And so that's how we can run 1600 watts of power through just two small 10 gauge wires. So this one in series, these two right here, these two in series, and then those two in series. And that it is not the best situation to be running two panels in series that are on either side of an air conditioner, but that's just the way we're gonna have to do it. Because as you can tell, uh, actually we're getting close to the point of the day where our shadows are kind of straight on, but in the morning, this side's gonna be shaded from the air conditioner. In the evening, this side's gonna be shaded. So we like to try and run our strings uh, on either side of an air conditioner and not cross, but in this case, it's just the way it's gonna have to be, so. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stay out of your hair. Get after it. Another day and we are still working hard on this thing. Uh, as you can see, we got some more progress in here. We ended up uh, putting a hole there where we're gonna run some of our cables down and uh, they're gonna come up through here and then right up, let's see if I can show you, right up in here. Where is it? There it is. So that's where our uh, AC cables are gonna go because the box inside is right above there. Then we gotta run some, the HDMI cable, which I just got done fishing here. Uh, remember we talked about, we're gonna be putting a screen right here and a uh, EMS controller. So that's my job here is, uh, I fished this through, it's down, it's down now. We were able to actually see, there was a hole that was already in here for the shower. 
Let's see if I can show it to you. So here's my HDMI line and the EMS line. Uh, where is it here? There, you might be able to see there's a hole right there. That was cut from the factory. It goes right underneath the shower. We were able to go right up through there. So that wasn't too bad. And then I'll just pretty much tuck this this line right in there. We'll wrap it in some uh, in something and uh, yeah, just send it all the way over there and connect it into the servo. We'll probably have to do an additional extension on here. We will use power up there. Anyway, I'll talk about more about that later, I suppose. What's up there, bud? All right, here we have a JD in his uh, natural habitat. This is it? This is ma making, yeah, this is it right here. If he's not playing guitar yeah. in an epic band. All the time, all the time, yeah. He is making order out of chaos. Yeah. Look at this, he's getting the EMS already pre-wired. That's super nice about putting it on a board. That is incredibly nice. Yeah. I had one run, I can land it here and here all the way over there we go all right we got the uh, mobile solder station out that i put together uh this is a nice little uh usb-c powered soldering iron i really like this one uh black cube i think is the one maybe i'll leave a link in the description below really like them anyway uh i use this for uh we're extending the ems wire so i'm just kind of soldering that, heat shrinking that, and then I'll put this bigger piece of heat shrink over there. Just to use Cat6 Ethernet cable. So we're gonna extend that. And then this line is the other side. So we can make it all the way over there. Right? So uh, speaking of over here, oh my gosh, what is. Oh, hi. <laughs> Out of all of us, JD's the only one that can do that. Just having fun now. No. Ah. All right, he's having a great time in there. Oh, Let's... yeah, just. So this is his other habitat that he likes. Because I love it so much. <laughs> well, good morning. We are still working on this Brinkley here. Uh, let me show you the update on what we got accomplished yesterday. I don't think we filmed a whole lot. We got our board in right over here. Uh, that's still going good. So these wires right here, uh, this one right here is our communication to the EMS system. And then this one is just the HDMI extension going up to the servo screen. So we have those plugged in just to test everything, make sure they work. Sean had to extend the wires, uh, this right here on the EMS system to go inside. Let me show you where all of that ended up. Actually, it turned out really, really nice. Uh, we were able to put the servo screen and the EMS monitor just right up here inside uh, the coach. So uh, let's see here, we're in the sun. There we go, try that again. Uh, right inside here in the rig and it fits beautiful. So right here is our servo screen and this is the EMS uh, control uh, right here for bypass or normal use. So right now I'm working on our solar. Uh, let's show you what we got going on right here. So this is our solar breaker right here. I just mounted that. Uh, the line goes, it's actually back behind here, over to where the old solar controller was up on the ceiling over there. So we just grabbed that line, ran it over here, and then I still have to run this over to our charge controller right there. But right now I am in the shop getting our batteries figured out. Uh, so we're going to be stacking the batteries on top of each other and having it be, uh, well, a, a nice kind of tucked away side. We're going to put a wall over top of it. Uh, but this is pretty much what they're going to end up looking like, stacked like this, one lower, one upper. Uh, so then we've got the jumper wires in between there. I think on the wall we're going to have the breaker mounted uh, somewhere over here so it's easy access to get at it. Let's see, this, this guy right here, the uh, dive hole 400 amp. Uh, breaker, so I'll have it mounted. I'm not sure if it's that way or that way. Ah, we'll get it figured out one way or the other. And there he is. Just finished up the install here. All right, we're uh, just wrapping this up. I'll show you what we got going on in here. Uh, the final. Oh, there's bear hair right there. We'll dust it out. So this is the finished product right here. We got our uh, Smart Solar 150-100 uh, right there. The Lynx distributor down here. Oh, we still got to put our sticker on uh, that makes everything read correctly on the Lynx. That is one of the really nice things uh, about the distributor. There's a sticker that you can put over top of this that switches the label. So then that's down there, and it looks like it's incorrectly. Uh, the EMS 
system right there, Servo GX. Uh, that's the temperature controller for the ventilation, which is over there. Multi plus 3000. And then shifting over this way, look at this fancy work here. So we got our battery stacked too high over there. We got a, a wall in on this side right here uh, to hold it in and then two or let's see here, one right there and one back here to hold the batteries in place. Uh, so that way they don't shift around. And it also provides protection for, you know, when you're storing stuff in here. Uh, our shutoff for the batteries is right there. Solar shutoff is over here on this side. And then uh, all our wire rands we ran up over the top, not all of them, but our battery and solar uh, down through there and land onto the Lynx distributor right here. Uh, but most of our other runs, we went through the floor right there uh, going down. So this is for our AC mains as well as the uh, HDMI for the servo and the comm cable for the EMS system. They went down, I could show you down here, uh, through this uh, conduit right here up and over. Uh, you can kind of see it back over that way. But we tied it in all the way along over here. And the reason we have it coming out right here, we didn't want it up close to the front and we really don't want to drill a uh, two and a half inch hole through uh, the frame of the rig. And sadly, there wasn't a better place to come to the outside over here that wasn't going to be even lower to the ground. Uh, so that runs over that way. The breaker box, uh, so showed you the breaker box earlier, but from the outside reference, so here's the window for the bedroom. Uh, it's right about in this area right here. So we had our AC mains coming in right there. Uh, that was a really nice run to be able to do that. Uh, kept them fairly short. I ended up adding, well, oh, probably 15 feet total uh, of just 6.3 cable going to do that. And then I believe I already showed the wrap up on the inside, but I'll do that one more time just in case. And here's where we got all of the fancy stuff. So the servo screen is right here. This is the EMS system uh, down here. That's happy as can be working just the way it should. And things are cooking good. We're making uh, so here's seven, the 749 watts of solar right now, uh, pulling in almost 2000 from the grid to charge up the batteries. Ooh, those batteries are sitting real nice. Uh, they're already almost up to 14 volts, so that's going really good. Uh, so that is how all of that tucked up. I think that does it for this video. Uh, this was a fun install. There was, um, honestly, Brinkley's are wonderful rigs. Uh, I love how so much of them has been, I feel like, just well thought out. Okay, let me get out of the sun. There we go. Well thought out. Uh, they're well-built rigs and it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful travel trailer. So if you have any solar questions or comments uh, about this build or wondering how we did stuff, uh, feel free to drop a comment below and we will get back to you when we can. Or if you have other solar needs, uh, we're in Minnesota right now. I'm going to be headed down to Arizona here in just a couple of weeks to run our Quartzsite location for the winter. So if you need something down in Quartzsite, Arizona, uh, reach out and we'll be more than happy to uh, hook you up with some solar. I think that's it. Levi, do you have any comments? Not that I know of. No. We're good. Sean's doing an install off-site right now, so we got to wrap up this video. All right, I'm done rambling. See ya.